Well hello YouTube, this is Layer123 and this is my second Layer Update video. I did one about two months ago but I thought it's about time I showed you what has changed on the layout and what better way to start than talk about, well, the whole thing. I mean the whole board has been stripped clean, everything came off all the way down to the very last cow, person, shed, hat building, anything. Everything came off and look at it now, I mean it looks a lot cleaner to start with and there's been a lot more changes since I put it all back so let me just start by showing you something small that has changed and as you can see now from the station we now have a little alleyway between the two houses which then leaves leads up to the um, crossing which used to be by the church but I thought it was a bit out of place really it looked like it should be with the high street so that's the first change and let's talk about a few more while over in the corner as you can see what used to be the breakers yard is now a car dealership I was never satisfied with the way the breakers yard turned out and I just got sick of it in the end I moved all the different bits and bobs about in it but I could never really get happy with the way it looked so this is the best I feel it certainly has looked in the whole of its life down in this corner we have the little delivery bay which has not changed at all but you can see the little dock shunter with the light that's flashing. I've spoken about it before and I'm going to show you guys how to make one of them in a separate video. So look out for that. Go back to the middle. I've moved the farmhouse from the corner into the middle. Next to the police station. So house price is probably going to be pretty low. And I thought it's probably best because it all looked quite packed in when I had it all in the corner. So I thought it would make it a little bit nicer to um, separate it all out a bit and for me I think this is a much better setup. I've moved the ale van into the pub because I thought what was the point in the ale van just going around the town when it could actually be delivering to the pub. It seemed to make more sense and made it a bit more logical and well why not. Outside the um, little model railway shop we have a couple of people looking in the window at the train sets and let's face it, who doesn't do that? I thought that would be a nice little feature just to attach to my layout and something that made it a little bit different. Another obvious change is the fact that the outer loop has now increased in size, hence the fact that we now have the siding on the inside where the 37 is. Because The reason I did it is because it didn't really look right when you'd have a train come around the corner quite fast and then it would wobble about on a straight and then a curve, so I thought it just looked a bit more sensible and I think the siding in general just looks better like this it's a different setup and I don't know how long it's going to stay like this but at the moment I like it you can comment below did you like the way it was before watch the first one and you'll see what I mean as to how it's changed personally I think this is the better way I've got new fence panels all the way up the back which helps to separate the town from the railway because it used to just be bits of grass and I feel that that really didn't look right so I went out and bought some new fencing and that's really uplifted the look of this high street now there are trees which is just like a real high street would have I've never gone to anywhere and there not be a tree at least one in the high street so yep that's another different thing about the layout another thing to point out is my original very old flying Scotsman model which is with a lot of problems if you watch my story behind a train video you'll know why and I have put that there it started off just being there as part of my um, Thomas I think it was something like Thomas's nightmare or something like that video which I made so I was gonna move it but then I left it there and I thought it looks quite good it could do with a bit of weathering but apart from that it does sort of sit well and since the Thomas video I put some wheels from the very cheap Mallard model that came with a um, magazine it just sort of adds to the look of leaving steam behind if you get what I mean we're in this corner there's nothing I can really say about this part it's pretty much a postal delivery area nothing has changed in this bit I did put a light in that building which ran off a um, set of the little washer sort of size batteries but the bulb blew probably should have thought about that before but 
it was quite awkward because I'd pick it up and then fencing would fall over and that sort of thing. But all in all, I think I probably will replace it. It's just getting round to it in the end. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this corner. And while we're, out, we're over this side, let me just show you that the fact that the Sentinel is sitting just off the tracks. Because if I was to have it on the track, then it run, it would run. Because this is all still got power for the light in that. I don't do DCC. This is all just DC. I think most people would know that by now. But you don't hear people talk about DCC as they used to. It used to be like this real great new thing. And recently Hornby, I think, have I don't know. They don't seem to talk about it like they used to. Does anyone else know why that is, or is there a new thing that I don't know about? I know they did something like the E-Link or something like that, but I'm not really sure, to be honest with that. And now we come to the corner, which has had a little bit of a joke of the sheep falling over again. There's always one, and you've got the farmer keeping watch. And there's a um, garage there that used to be with the farm. I thought I could leave that there. That looks kind of realistic in its own little way. I felt that the setup I had before it was just all too crammed in there and now it's quite spaced out in its own little way. Also in the centre, just to point out, I've put some cars by the church because, I don't know, it just seemed there was this big space with nothing there and I thought it looked, gave it a little bit more realism about it. And I feel that all in all, it's changed a lot since the first layout update. Completely, in fact, changed. And that is pretty much it for today, guys. So thanks very much for watching. And if you haven't seen my first layout update, you can compare the two. It certainly has built up since the first one. And I just want to say thank you to everybody out there who has subscribed and commented. And don't forget, if you do leave a comment on my channel, I'm not a YouTuber or just ignore it. I will say thanks or say something. So never forget that. And don't forget to click that subscribe button as well. And those of you who may have seen a train in the siding or something that I haven't done a video on or you'd like to see again, just leave a comment below and I'll get back to you. And like I say, thank you very much for watching everybody and see you all soon.